Hey sewers, do you have a favorite piece of clothing that you just wish you could clone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to copy a garment using a simple example that can be applied to other clothing. Let's copy this tank top. Step 1. Fold lengthwise like so to save time and keep things symmetrical. Step 2. Trace around the bodice without the strap. Be sure to fold the fabric with the wrong side out so you can use a marking tool. Try to use an erasable chalk or pen. Add a seam allowance of your choice all around and cut out. I'm using a half inch seam allowance. I have now cut out my front piece. You're going to need two pieces for the front and for the back. For the back piece, you can trace the front fully opened. I will show you how to make a small modification if there is a difference between the front and back. I have my front piece on my fabric so I can trace around and cut. Seam allowance is already there so no need to add. Okay, so now I have two pieces that are identical that I could use for the front and the back. You have the option to use the same piece for the front and back or make adjustments. The back is smaller in some areas on this tank top. I folded the tank top like this to check how much to trim for the back. You can also use the front piece twice without trimming anything since this is a knit top and it stretches to fit. It's up to you. As you can see, the back bodice is smaller than the front, so I'm making the new shape for the back piece. Once I am done, I'm going to add seam allowance. This will be the new back armhole, and I'm going to add a half inch seam allowance to that. Now I'm ready to trim the excess. So my front and back pieces are ready. It is now time to do the binding on the neck. This is optional because you can just fold over and stitch as well. I'm just copying exactly the way the tank top looks. So I'm going to measure this. I'm going to cut out a piece that is that long and it will be one inch wide. In this case, the front and the back are not identical, so I'm measuring them separately. And now it's time to do the straps. I will measure the same way and cut a strip one inch wide. The length will be whatever I measure. You only need to measure once this time because the straps are identical on both sides. You can also make the straps wider if you would like. Now you have your front and back pieces cut. You're ready to sew. Place the front neck band right sides together like so and sew at quarter inch seam allowance. Fold up and back toward the wrong side of the neck. We have the neckband on both front and back. And now we can put the front and back together, right sides together, and sew at the side seams. So now that's done, it's time to attach the shoulder straps. To do that, lay the bodice with the side seams in the center like so. And the straps are going to go like this. I will start at one end, go around, and when I am at the end, I will overlap the end slightly like this. So I'm going to stitch a, at a quarter inch seam allowance right there, and then I'm going to go all around when done. I'm going to fold it up and fold it back towards the wrong side. So I'm starting at the side seams to hide the overlap. And I'm going to pin everything in place so it's easier to sew. 
So I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm sewing at a quarter inch seam allowance. So now that's done, I'm going to take the binding and I'm going to fold it up at first like this and then fold it again towards the wrong side of the the bodice and I am going to pin this in place all around so that I can top stitch it with a zigzag stitch later. And for the free part of the straps, I'm folding it in from either side twice and then I'm folding it again towards itself. Okay, now I'm done pinning. So I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on top and I'm going to go all the way around until I come back to the side seam. I'm going to do that for both sides and I'll meet you back here. So this is the finished tank top. We are all done with the straps. We still have to hem the bottom. I am just folding over half an inch and zigzagging. Of course, you can do a double fold or a straight stitch, whatever you want. And this is the end of this tutorial. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, happy sewing.